showing my age here, certainly not my time. Uh, other people in the office are laughing. Maybe I'm sort of dating them a little bit. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is my first solo performance on the famous Time and Tide office couch wearing the PRX, uh, sort of a watch synonymous with me and almost how I came into this position. But the reason why we're reviewing this beauty here today, a colleague Matt actually bought it a couple of days ago and just had a bit of a joke. I said, well, that, that looks fantastic. And he said he's been calling it the 111, the play on the Vachon Constantin 222. When I put it on, I thought, you know what? That's actually pretty sweet. And um, yeah, here to tell you about it. So the, the PRX itself uh, originally launched in 1978 and then sort of gone through several iterations throughout Tissot's catalogs, some more exciting than others, uh, and then relaunched in 2020 as this super hot new release that really launched Tissot into, well, this enthusiast space that they deserve to be in. This particular one here is a 40 millimeter version, which uh, I've actually had quite a bit of experience with uh, in the blue Parmatic 80 version. So you've got 40 millimeters by 10.8 millimeters thin at 44.6 lug to lug. But I will always mention this with any PRX review, that first lug is non-articulating. So you've got about 51 millimeters actual lug to lug. Not too big of a problem here. I eventually got used to it as well. And especially if you're wearing it a bit loose as I am this sort of proper 80s style, it really sits quite nicely on the wrist, especially because it's so thin. Uh, as far as the movement, this is the quartz version. You can expect about three years of battery life here, but just the fact that it's quartz, yellow gold PVD, and based on 80s design, I mean, it feels like this watch shouldn't really exist today. It's just such a, such an 80s proposition, uh, but that, that's what makes it so cool. You know, I feel like I should be wearing a leotard and, and dancing to whatever was popular in the 80s. I'm showing my age here, certainly not my time. Uh, other people in the office are laughing. Maybe I'm sort of dating them a little bit. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> so, and a couple of cool things. This is actually the only fully gold PRX that I, I've come across. I've done quite a bit of research and I could not find any other, any other models in, in full gold. There were a lot of two-tone models, uh, but yeah, this is, this is the only one in yellow gold. Now, um, Tissot has in the past done some solid gold models of their sort of more popular watches. So can you imagine this in a solid 18 karat yellow gold with this bracelet? I mean, the stainless steel is all already reflective enough as it is. And this, when a light shines on it, like you can see gold on the walls, it's, it's pretty sweet. So I'm actually putting, putting it on the wrist, like I mentioned, I have been wearing it a bit loose. That's both because I feel like this watch wears a bit better that way. And just because that 80s feel, just having it drop there right, right above the wrist, uh, it just, it feels like a integrated bracelet sports watch at 40 millimeter. There's really not much more to it. Uh, it wears nice and slim, so shouldn't have any problems with wearability. Uh, and, it is a bit sales pitchy. I did used to work for Tissot, I, I can't help myself. Uh, great in a dressier scenario, great in a sportier scenario. You've got a, that 100 meter water resistance up. So if you were to take this into the water, I think it'll do just fine. Who is this watch for then? I mean, it is for the original customer of the PRX, uh, but maybe if they just wanted that touch of the 80s, if they would normally wear like a data bank or you know a Casio calculator watch, uh, but slightly more sophisticated, slightly more dressed up, this is the perfect watch for that. And uh, what do you think? I mean, is this a watch that you would wear? Uh, honestly, if I saw it on Tissot's website, especially the renders they have on there, it really doesn't do the watch justice in person. So uh, now that I got it, I, uh, yeah, I'll have a hard time giving it back to Matt. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.